welcome guys in our short interaction of two designer software for our NBS grinders. So let's skip the basics and we will try to make a program for a simple constant pitch with profile. So the first thing what we need to do is make sure that we have setting for the machine type which is written here right here nbs 300 if i go to menu machine i can choose from all available models which i want to do the program so let's stick with this one this is nbs 300 this is the type of uh, feeding and this is the option of machine if it has dressing device or not so i can just confirm by click ok and now we need a template which is basically the picture i'm going to use to create my, my profile so the software itself has a eight basic feed profiles quickly each of them is preset and we can parametrically change almost everything so for our example i will stay with the shape eight which is universal and we can change all these parameters in the profile so here is a few menus which we will now use so first let's go to pictures we're going to open our file usually if it's taken by regular camera good quality result uh, resolution and from picture I need to know the real real information which is the pitch P45 and at least the angle which was 24 so now I open the picture I go to open image preview and here is my whole picture by scrolling I can zoom and I'm looking for tooth profile which doesn't have this 3D edge I need nice smooth profile like this one what I'm gonna do is uh, I need to uh, teach the program from the picture what is the real pitch right here and for this I can simple help so it tells me how to set up the starting point end point how to change the measured distance and how to realign the picture so the first what I do is hold down control and select point I can still zoom in and if the picture is very nice and clear I can do very nice details if I don't like the position I can simply hold control and click to somewhere else then I can do more precisely hold control click and choose the first point second point is done by shift and click so let's try right here shift and click then i put here my distance 45 millimeters confirm by enter and press realign my image 
now I am done. I can close the window and go back to the shape. We will use the shape 8, like we spoke before, universal. And we can start to adjust the profile. So first I'm going to use the mind and proportions. I can quickly get the raw profile. So now I will change the page to 45 and confirm my enter again. Now I want to see my whole hood. So right click anywhere in the area and select the two parts. Now we got the whole profile. So if you want to zoom again, scroll up and down, you can get bigger size of image. You can also left click and make this rectangular zoom, readjust and if you want to position the picture, hold control and left click down and move the mouse into the right position like this. Okay, then we will uncheck the mind and proportion so that we can change separately each parameter and modify only that one. Next thing I am going to do is I am going to set up my grinding stone. So I must know that on machine I will use the grinding stone which has hood radius 2 millimeters. So that's this part. Then on the right side of the stone I will use 6 millimeter. So this is is my part here. Here of course I can set up the rest of, of technological parameters which can be used in machine but now we will focus on the grinding stone and setting up the profile. In menu options I can check my thickness of the stone and the angle stone so here you can see it's changing usually it's a little bit bigger angle than the real angle on the face of the hood like here so the stone is ready we get back to the profile and we can try to use known parameters so let's say I will change the angle first here according to this edge. So let's say 25. Then we can change the back angle. Let's say like this. We can change the back length. I can just simply write the number or I can scroll up and down and let it calculate the profile which is usually the best way. Then I need to change this part as my face length. So I go a little bit more down like this. Then we will change the depth of tooth. part up like this and now we can get back to the face again a little bit longer okay first radius this is right here play with this one then we have radius 2 is this part so it goes bigger let's get 
getting close to the profile and then radius 3 this part so I can use this 44 let's say then I can just change this to make a little bit bigger angle and almost there that's the profile so now we have all parameters for tooth from technological side we can set up all these parameters easily so lead in lead out usually between three to five millimeters as you can see it's this is a distance between stone and the point of the tooth, number of feet, 200, whatever is in real, number of cycles, usually one time is enough, when you go one time per profile, these no need to change, because this is used for second rounds, here, According to grinding stone for ceramic, usually 400 and three times it's faster. This means that 400 is this base part, then three times faster goes the profile from here up to here, and then again 400. So in total, we are running almost three times 400 millimeters per minute. Quite fast speed cooling is on, tool radius was set up before, grinding speed 35 meter per second is usual. These parts normally not used for regular blades and basically that's it. So now what we're gonna do is we can go to print and we can provide this to the machine operator who create program number and here are all parameters simple I can also go to save and save only current tooth which means all programs under shape 8 I can save only this particular shape I can save all teeth make CNC program and so on this is in short thank you for watching